Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of the funniest mistakes that I think has ever happened for the Ninjago series. Now, it's no secret that Ninjago is full of mistakes, whether it be animation errors, continuity slip-ups, plot holes, etc, etc, but one mistake in particular stands out to me. Just because of how far LEGO went out of their way to cover up something that wasn't really that big of a deal to begin with. Now this right here is the Staff of Light which, according to the Ninjago wiki, is in fact separate from the Scythe of Quakes. You might recognize this as the Scythe of Quakes. It is not the Scythe of Quakes. Instead, this is the Staff of Light. Now, it is featured in the Cole's Tread Assault set from way back in 2012, but again, this is not the Scythe of Quakes. This is the Staff of Light. It's apparently a Hypnobri weapon, as scales can be seen wielding it in some of the promotional material. In fact, LEGO.com decided to write a whole description for this weapon that's totally not the Scythe of Quakes. A favored weapon among the Hypnobri, excellent for striking the final blow when your victim has been paralyzed by the Hypnobri stare or rattle. Wow, that sounds so cool, and uh, the design is so original, totally not the Scythe of Quakes. No, it, it is the Scythe of Quakes. Now, again, according to the Ninjago wiki, this is supposed to be the Scythe of Quakes, but Scales wielding it in the set photos was a mistake on Lego's part. You might also notice that Cole has the Hypnobri staff as his weapon, apparently. You could, of course, see that as Cole having stolen the staff. Not sure why that logic did not apply for Scales and the Scythe of Quakes. Instead, Lego went went out of their way to cover up this mistake for some reason and make a whole new weapon out of it that is identical to the Scythe of Quakes. You know, instead of completely ignoring this mistake and moving on, they needed to make a whole story out of it, and I honestly have no idea why. Like I said, as Ninjago fans, we have seen countless mistakes coming from this show. This one wouldn't have been that big of a deal, and honestly, any Ninjago fan who got this set could recognize whose weapon belongs to who. But no, LEGO decided to make a whole new weapon out of it for seemingly no reason whatsoever. Maybe someone made this mistake and just insisted that they did not make a mistake. I don't know. I have no idea the background here. And that's the story of the legendary Staff of Light, an ancient Hypnobri weapon that's totally not the Scythe of Quakes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of random video. This is just something that I found while researching for something else, and I thought it was funny. Figured I'd share. So again, leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for watching. That'll pretty much wrap it up. From my thoughts here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.